was creative. So that should come up. Then, okay, if I show you in the stream. Okay. Okay, I'm talking to my mic, hang on. Um Can you hear me? So yeah, my screen is showing that you're talking into your mic. Ah, hold on. Try again. Hello. Hello. I can. I can, I can hear you, I can on, hear my you on my computer. computer. I'm just wondering. Okay. Was mine on mute? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. So let me put. I've got no one in watching at the moment anyway. Got no one in watching at the moment anyway. Okay, so I get, yeah, I'm getting feedback on your phone. Okay, so I get, yeah, I'm getting feedback on your phone. Oh, oh no, what's going on there? Okay, so I get, yeah, I'm getting feedback on your phone. Oh no, it's it's actually coming through my computer. Oh, gosh. Right. That's weird. Let me let me uh, Oh my god. <laughs> Stop.
Okay, so there's usually a 10 second delay or something. Okay, and you sound fine to me. Can you hear me on the computer? Lovely. We've got one person watching us live already. <laughs> Hi, Fee! Yes, Fee's, Fee's there. And we're, uh, oh, and there's a Facebook user there. So, okay. Right. <laughs> so, okay. We're almost there. Yeah, no, we're live. We're actually live. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we're, we're just going with the live technical issues, aren't we? So let me put myself on the camera and let me put you in the camera. Oh, no, that's the wrong you. I will hide that one. And there you are. <laughs> hey! <laughs> so I think we've got it. Brilliant. I think I think that's how we're going to have to to go through this, isn't it? Yeah. Hi, Claire. We were um, Claire. We were asking you to join us to see if you could see both Caroline and myself because we've got technical issues. Hello, face. Okay. So um, what I'm getting, hopefully, Caroline, in the in the right hand side you should see the chat can you yeah, see the chat can... yeah yeah okay so that's really good so <laughs> brilliant and so can everybody hear us both can see us both fingers crossed <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. oh my gosh this is this is like <laughs> This is this is a little bit crazy because oh, we're I'm having a bit quiet apparently. You're a bit quiet. Apparently, yeah. Oh, then you're louder for me now. Okay, well I'll just blast your ears. As long as somebody as long as we can be heard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. So let me let's let's put there. Look at that. I've even put your name on there now. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, we're, we're, Caroline, whilst we're still sorting this out, we're okay at the moment. Um, right. So, in the comments, for those of you that are already there, um, I will copy the link and I will paste that there. You need to click that link. I can hear Caroline just a bit quiet. Okay, that's okay. So that link that I've just put in, that needs to, to be clicked for us to be able to see your names um, when, you, when you comment to us. Because at the moment it just says Facebook user. So if I show you, I can show on the screen, look, Caroline, I can show who's making comments oh, yeah. so at the moment that's that's what you look like to us i'm i'm not uh, normally quiet i can tell you <laughs> no she's definitely not <laughs> oh, okay so this is going to be interesting we'll, we'll do this we can do this right yeah yeah we can we can do this it's it's going to be a little bit weird oh oh no don't do that right i've got like a million screens going on right now but that's okay. okay. And just now there was there was subtitles. As long as you're in control, that's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Five, four, three, two, one. Hooray! <laughs> So, thank you ever so much for joining us at Curious Creatives here. Um, we are going live into Facebook group, Facebook page and YouTube. We're having technical issues, but we're trying to find work around. Um, I'm Sue. Thank you ever so much for joining me. And with me is the beautiful and wonderful and 
awesomely creative, uh, Caroline Caswell. She oh. is <laughs> one of the amazing tutors that we have got on the Curious Creatives Crafts Retreat this year. And I thought it would be really nice to bring Caroline along. So whilst we've been sending out the uh, tutor focus emails, if you haven't get on, got onto that yet or haven't received one, then you need to sign up and subscribe to receive the newsletters. But I thought it would be lovely to bring Caroline along and you actually get to meet the tutor that's gonna be there for you. So uh, Caroline, Oh, how yeah, excited are yeah, you? <laughs> oh, it's so nice to be chatting to you, Sue, even if the technology is a little bit, you know. The technology has gone a little bit weird. Yeah, I think I might yeah. just have to do some overlays here or something. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, Caroline, um, you've got a, an amazing um, uh, a package set up for this course, haven't you? Do you want to... Tell us all about that. Or, oh, no, no, no. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Tell us about you. Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> well, I'll tell you about my sort of polymer clay sort of journey. Um, it basically started, I've I've always played with polymer clay. I've always used the, the Fimo packets. So, um, and I started because my brother very kindly bought me a whole selection of these Fimo packets. And I just was playing with it as you do, not really knowing what I was doing. And then circumstances in the family meant that I had to go and care for my dad. And oh. he was actually physically fine. He just had Alzheimer's, so he just needed company. Anyway, I was there and I was looking through the computer and I found this wonderful woman called Donna Cato, who you will hear if you come on the course, you'll hear a lot about her because <laughs> she's my inspiration. And she was coming, she's an American, she came to the UK to do a course, which I decided wow. to attend. And it was a three day course, similar to what we're doing. I learned so much, it just started me on this journey. And that was about 15 years ago. Since wow. then, I've been making and gradually I started selling my work in various shops. And then I started teaching other people because well, you know, you can't keep it to yourself, really, can you? This, and, is, this uh, is very true. <laughs> and it's such fun. It's such fun because you basically just need the clay. Yeah. A really good sharp knife. An acrylic rolling pin and a pasta machine. A pasta machine? Uh, yes, a pasta machine. An ordinary, like, communal garden, you know, pasta machine. And that's wonderful for blending colors and making lovely flat sheets of clay. And it just means that then you can make things like this. Oh, I've got somebody asking you for a quick chat, but. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> no, See, I love those trinket bowls. Yes. So oh. Basically, I'm just gonna show you very quickly this is the sort of cane. This is a simple cane, what we call a simple cane. Mm -hmm. There various color ways. And then you can that sort of cane into a more complex cane, which is like flowers. So that one, the top right, has become a yeah. bowl, a square one. Wow. The dark blue flower there has become this trinket bowl. It's and hard to believe that those those trinket bowls are made from those those long pieces of cane, you call them, is that right? Yes, canes. It's like a stick of rock. Yeah. It's made in a similar way. And um, I mean, the, you know, the possibilities are just endless. I mean, you can then turn them into things like, you know, bracelets. And you can, I mean, this is a a necklace that you can make. I love them. It's reversible, you know. So these are the sort of things that people will be making on the course. And there's, I mean, there's a whole variety of things people can make. And maybe after the first day, which will be very much sort of introducing how to make all these canes, maybe day two or at the end of day one, we'll decide which path we're going to go down, whether it's 
I mean, we will we will make a bowl definitely. But yeah, my mind is jewelry. You know, we might do something yeah. like this with a toggle, or you know, there's so many different things that can be made. It's amazing. It I love amazing. that necklace you're wearing, by the way. I oh, absolutely nice. adore that. <laughs> I, I have a um I have a habit of um acquiring other people's jewelry that they've made <laughs> because I end up trying things on and going, I think it looks so much better on me. Yeah. So, you know, if you're quite partial to it, Caroline, you're gonna have to hold on to it tight. <laughs> you'll 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 find out I have a I mean I've got on this table here a huge box of what I call stock, but it's like, you know, ready-made things and um I have to say the materials are reasonably cheap. So, you know, it's so nice to be able to give things away to people. And it's so nice to be able to impart the knowledge so that other people can give things to people. Yeah. You know, it's just, mm -hmm. it's lovely. So there's, there's, I mean, you know, you've showed us, um, oh, see, that's nice. Somebody's just said that that's a, a beautiful necklace. Um, oh, thank you. Yeah, so that's lovely. It is, well, it is a beautiful one. necklace. <laughs> possibly yeah i love them and, and i love them all yeah well this one you can change the length you see because you've got another another loop here so you can have a shorter one with a little bit of a dangly bit oh. the, the, the top doesn't help because you can't really see it but anyway but the, the possibilities with it are yeah. because it is it is a it is a clay am i right in thinking yes it's a it's a plastic compound clay and right. it stays soft or malleable or usable until you bake it oh, okay and once you bake it i mean all the instructions i'll be going through once you bake it yeah. it becomes hard but it still has a bit of flex in it right okay so it's a plastic yeah so so you can still so it, it's got a little bit of bounce it's not going to break too easily is what we're saying no and you know the the thing about having a bit of instruction means that you learn how thick you need things to be to stay stable and not break yeah and there are sort of there are quite a lot of things that you you need to know about temperatures and yeah. ovens um you know oh look somebody's been to one of my workshops <laughs> oh i love that well i am going to i am going to let everybody else into a it's not a secret but i am going to let everybody know that i did come and do um a workshop with you and it it was brilliant i was so in love i don't think uh, at the end of the day i wanted to stop i didn't want to go home so you know anybody that comes on the retreat is going to have three full days of tuition with you which is you know i even now my mind is boggling with the amount of things that i would want to do um the saddest thing for me about organizing these retreats is that i can't do the workshops or the courses but um it, i will definitely be coming to you anyway so um so students will if they if they want to purchase stuff it, literally a pasta machine it's well i will you know, bring some i mean that will be on the list of things that people would need to bring with them. However, I do have a whole load of them because I quite often run workshops myself, okay. here, you know, individually yeah. people. So I'll have a few that will be available to be used. Um, but things like, and, and I can have some that can be for sale if people want them. Um, Brilliant. Uh, and tools and clay and all sorts of things. But I will give a, you know, if somebody uh, registers, they'll get a list of things that they can bring, but I'll make uh, sure there's stuff there as well that people can either buy or, you know, some of it will be able to use anyway. Yeah, well, that's that's brilliant. So we've spoken about absolute beginners, but I, I'm, I'm pretty sure with your tuition that anybody that's got a little bit of experience is still going to benefit from this. Am I right? Yes, definitely, because you can always learn a new skill. I mean, yeah. there are there are books out there and there are tutorials out there. And I know I'm constantly looking for new things. And if it's something if somebody comes along and they specifically want to do something, there's no reason why we can't, you know, set them up doing that while other people are doing something else. You know, it's yeah. in with three days, you've got plenty of scope. 
there's so much there's so much to do with it isn't there and I think you know initially um I, I certainly know that when I came on your workshop it was okay we're going to make some um was it a candle holder wasn't it the tea light holder yeah and and then it, that just developed and I walked away with two pairs of earrings um <laughs> a, a, a a pendant for a necklace, the tea light holder, a small trinket bowl. And, and this was just in one day. Um, <laughs> you know, I was just amazed at how much I could make with just only a few, a small amount of materials. And yeah, completely fell in love with the polymer clay. But then, um, as I've said before, I was introduced to you by the absolutely wonderful Mrs. Frame, who is here with us at the moment. Um, and and I just remember her bringing me to your house and just being like, wow, look at this. And I think the mosaic that you've got behind you at the moment, that was um, one of the things. I don't know if you were still in the process of making that one or it was another one, but there was one that was kind of, part way through progression and yeah. and I just was like wow look at this and then the, the table with all the polymer clay on it and all the canes and I'm just like mesmerized by everything that was going on in your house and and I actually did confess eventually only in the emails recently that I didn't take in anything you were saying then <laughs> because I was just too busy looking around you are extremely talented um and it's just amazing to to see what you're capable of now you've also been doing some um paper cutting haven't you but not in the usual way that we would see paper cutting um no, your creative idea. talents are endless this is this is a self-portrait <laughs> Let's, oh wow look at that I love that so much I absolutely so it's, love that it's, it's it's basically um I drew myself from a photograph and yeah. then I I then um you cut from the reverse side so it would have been flipped the other way yeah and where where you can see the color I've cut away the paper and then I've oh my added gosh collage behind so yeah I've see that's that's just amazing that's paper cutting like I've never seen before and and it's just stunning you are I am so honored that you agreed to become a tutor at the um oh. the retreat this year just like it was like that oh please yes 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 Sue, <laughs> Sue, the thing is the thing is that um it's it's quite isolated sometimes, you know, as an artist. Yes. And I think the, the wonderful thing about doing teaching and being on a group like this, yeah. especially the one you've organised, because it well, it's first of all you're going to meet so many other people, and they've got skills yes. that they bring to you. Like they'll go, absolutely. Could you do that? And you go, never thought of that. What a brilliant idea, you know. Yeah. And it's just you take it on board. And then the other thing is that the fact that there's going to be seven other artists. With all their different things, I mean, oh my gosh, times are just going to be bonkers, aren't they? Which oh, like <laughs> <laughs> so, so. I've I've actually taught on these retreats before, and every single tutor ends up going. Can we have another day just to ourselves so that we can all experiment with each other's <laughs> skills? And but you are absolutely right in what you're saying. The students just love talking to the tutor and then also bringing in their own perspective and then you know another student brings in a perspective and you know everybody's got those different skills you are exactly right and it's such a wonderful environment to be in when you're able to freely bounce off of each other and but it's in such a relaxing environment so um let me just I'm gonna just turn my camera bear with me look so I've turned myself off that screen there that picture that is actually the location of um, the Kingham Hill College or Kingham Hill School in Chipping Norton. So that's the actual location where we'll be based. Just look at all that greenery. Oh, isn't it? Isn't it? It's yeah. just stunning. It's, um, yeah, it's just such a relaxing place to be. Um, so, yeah, so... Uh, 
what there was something else I was going to say so okay so what we've got included in the retreat this is for everybody that's watching included in the retreat is three full days tuition with your chosen tutor okay and you do stay with that tutor for the three days because I believe that you get a lot from that there are other retreats that are going to be run where you can book in you know two hour sessions or half day sessions with other tutors but this particular retreat in um in the Cotswolds is three full days tuition with that there's also the option of residential um and the residential is a a, a dormitory style accommodation but I have to say the school only replaced the mattresses a couple of years ago and they're all those beautiful deep memory foam just so comfortable um and there's you know there's the option well the school can um accommodate 250 people um we we like to keep the retreats quite fairly small you know 50 to 60 people so there's plenty of space for everyone um you also get three meals with the residential option that's three meals a day for the three days on so that'd be the tuesday wednesday thursday on the monday you arrive sort of mid-afternoon you get an evening meal then and then on the friday they do breakfast for us as well so you get the two extra meals either end they've got an on-site bar did you know that caroline no, I mm -hmm. didn't. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> there is an on-site bar. Yeah. So, <laughs> so there'll be lots of nattering in the evenings and, um, you know, getting together with other people on different courses. And like you say, the meal times are a great time to exchange information with each other. But, Forget you know, in the evenings... Sleep, then. <laughs> yeah there's no sleep it might be relaxing but there's no sleep um so yeah and there's also uh, for it is an additional charge because we've got to look after the lifeguards and stuff but they do have a 25 meter swimming pool i think it's 25 meter i think i've got that right but they've got a swimming pool on site as well so if anybody finds they do have any downtime isn't likely because you're busy crafting um then the swimming pool has access as well so that's really good i need that booking in advance but there are options for non-residential as well um anybody that's looking to do a non-residential would need to message me um privately you can do it on the facebook groups on um email um email is hello at curious creatives dot online um, and I'll tell you what I am going to do. So let's get to um, the actual cost. Now, for all of that, I have been told that tutors per day um, is, you know, if you go to a specialist tutor, I mean, you know, Donna, for example, you went to, to Donna, it's, it's not cheap, is it? And I say cheap and I mean it like that because the craft you're doing is just full of value anyway so yeah. you know when you go to um a, a reputable tutor and do one of their workshops you expect for that to be um a standard pricing well the pricing for the retreats is actually oh no what have i done oh there it is um the pricing for the retreats uh, I have already been criticised for this, and I think you were one of them, actually, Caroline, was um, including the residential. Let me, oh, I'm about to lose you. Hold on. Stay there. <laughs> including including the residential. I'm just about to bring it up on the screen. Ready? I, know. I mean, it's a, it's a, I mean, that's a bargain. You wouldn't even be able to get a holiday no. for that amount of money with accommodation and all no. your food. Bed and yeah. breakfast at an absolute stretch, maybe if you're not doing anything else. But my goodness, that is a, such a bargain. It's, it is, it's crazy, isn't it? It is crazy. I know it's crazy. Um, but I, like you, I love teaching and I want people to learn and I want people to experience new things and or progress with their creative skills. And, you know, I'm an absolute believer in everybody is creative, even if you create spreadsheets. That's creativeness. <laughs> you know, even if you think you've got not a creative bone in your body, there is something that you do that you are creative with um so yeah so the link to that has come up in the chat uh oh 
look, I've done it twice now. How do I do this? Told you technology's <laughs> technology's got a little bit random on me. Um, <laughs> So, um, yes, for £450, that's an entire three days of tutoring, four nights accommodation, meals three times a day for three days, and then one meal for two days, not one meal split between two, but you know what I mean, right? <laughs> um, and there's the opportunity to then go into other um, tutors' workshops in the evening. Oh, the dragon's in the house. Sorry, Caroline. When uh, <laughs> when it says that hello, the dragon's arrived. The dragon is actually my mum. Oh, bless! I, I, I have to say, I I saw your mum on Facebook at Christmas. Oh, did you? Christmas present. Absolutely wonderful. What a pair. Oh. Oh, aren't they fabulous? Well, that's several oh. years old now, so that um that keeps that keeps coming up. But yeah, so the dragon's in the house. <laughs> she always likes a shout out. <laughs> oh, bless. Oh, Holly, thank you, Holly. That's excellent value. It is. It is excellent value. So, before the dragon distracted me, yeah. So it's um three full days of tutoring and this is with you on this particular occasion that we're talking about um doing the polymer clay that's going to be the tools are provided the opportunity to purchase materials if you haven't got your own or there will be a kit list supplied um the opportunity to interact with the other students during the um breaks and during meal times and then the bar which is also reduced even if you don't drink alcohol, it's still a beautiful social place to go and do. And they do amazing coffees, apparently. I don't drink coffee, but, you know. So, Sue, you said something about um, the opportunity for some people. To, you'd have two nights, two evenings, when yeah. you might be able to get to, with another artist and do a yeah. taster. And That's it. Yeah, them. we've got taster so, sessions running. So with all of the with all of the tutors... Not all of the tutors will run a workshop on the same evening. Some will choose not to do anything because, you know, they might have been exhausted by you, the students. Um, <laughs> but, you know, they might need to just have that cup of tea or that coffee, first of all. Um, but the tutors will be running their own mini workshops in the evening for usually about an hour and a half time. Um, most of the time, that's about. 15 20 pounds extra so as a student it's entirely up to you if you want to join in on that again but it gives you the opportunity to learn not just what you've booked up for on your course but to have a, a little taster session and dip in to something else so um caroline you might have to help me with this now because every time i reel off all the um see look, I even put the hand on the hip because that's me going into thinking mode right <laughs> <laughs> um we've got so we've got the polymer clay with caroline we've got silversmithing with wendy we've got seed beading with vivian we've got needle felting with hannah we've got um dressmaking and bag making with sarah we've got uh patchwork quilting and patchwork with liz we've got um wire. that's it the wire work with um allison and paint paint oh yes oh my gosh and the lovely fee potter she's in the house anyway <laughs> sorry fee <laughs> We've got mixed media artist Fiona. She's also in the chat at the moment. Um, so sorry, Fee. You know I wouldn't forget you. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was almost embarrassing then. Almost no, no, it embarrassing. Wasn't. It wasn't. No, you. Were <laughs> but the thing is, there's just so many things to choose from that I know I struggle to actually choose which one I would want to go on. So part of me is almost glad that I'm on this side of it. Um, but the other part of me is so jealous because I want to do all of them. Um, <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's, uh, it is, it's amazing. And all of the tutors are wonderful. And um, yeah, I just, I'm looking forward to this. I am so excited for this. So uh, when is it? We haven't said that, have we? Oh no, 
good point. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's in uh, July. It's in July, so it's from Monday the 18th of July through to Friday the 22nd of July. That's this year, 2022, just making everybody aware. Um, obviously, uh, we there's social distancing in place if um if you want it we can accommodate that we were able to accommodate that last year um we can accommodate it this year and the school are very very good with the social distancing and um all the hygiene things that go with any form of covid or other you know infectious diseases and stuff but we don't want to think about that do we um <laughs> but like i say the the safety element is there it's ready um we haven't got any issues with that and you know i don't know about you but i'm still hesitant about going abroad at the moment and so a retreat is perfect it's the ideal opportunity you're at home in your home country i should say and you know you can just chill out enjoy the countryside there's plenty of space um i had something pop through my brain there can you just get that out for me please on. i don't know what it is i don't know what you want <laughs> what are you asking me for to <laughs> just can you be a mind reader please caroline um, this is <laughs> I know. Gosh, we'd make a, we'd make a fortune if uh, if all of us were able to do that. Oh my God! No, actually, to be fair, I think it would be dangerous if anybody could read my mind. <laughs> They'd see all my browser tabs open. You know, my mind is like a computer with all these browser tabs open, and then you go, "Which one was I on just now?" I have no idea. Um, <laughs> I just have to say, Sue, I think it's brilliant what you've done here, is, you know, setting this up, getting it organised. I think it's such a, an opportunity for people to have great fun. You know, yeah. whatever they choose, whatever course they choose is just going to be full on. And, you know, you, you're going to go away with so many new skills. Oh, I, it's going to be amazing, gonna be isn't fabulous. it? Yeah. It's going to be amazing. And yeah. And I know that anybody that signs up to your course is going to have an absolutely awesome time you are just an absolute joy to be around and well, you know that that different. first day that i met you and we sat out in the um the cafe pub and had a little bite to eat and just it was so lovely to be around you so yeah i'm good i'm so pleased that you're a you're a tutor yeah, oh, no, I'm, it's I'm, amazing I'm dying. I'm dying to do it so that's great Really That's happy. good. So independently then, Caroline, where can people follow you? Are you on social media? Have you got websites? If, you know, what? how can people yeah. find out more about you? Well, I have a Facebook account. Uh, okay. With Caroline Caswell. I also have a, an Instagram account. Lovely. Uh, again, Caroline Caswell. Okay. Um, the Caswells felt like that. Um, so yeah, I mean, the the two places I have a website as well. Um, again, it's carolinecaswell.com. So it's lovely, simple, really. <laughs> it's, it, um, well, that's what we like. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, um, I do sell a few of my pieces in art shops, um, gallery type, art, you know, gift shops around the country. Yeah. Um, but the, you know they're from Peebles down to Falmouth, so it's oh wow! Far. So you, yeah. you are literally covering the country, country aren't you? Yes, yeah, <laughs> do my best. <laughs> it's only about six shops, but it sounds great. You know. Hey, um, hey, that's that's amazing. I love that. You know, it's it's wonderful, and and I do I, I do a few sort of short workshops around the country as well. So um, lovely. You know, just keeping teaching, keeping the hand in, as it were. Yeah. That's yeah, that's brilliant. I I absolutely love that, and um, I do I do stalk you a little bit. I've got to be honest and check yeah. out. Yes, of course I do. <laughs> <laughs> check out when you're when you're available and working, and you know what your workshops are coming up and things like that. Um, right. So when is your next workshop? This Saturday. Oh, I've been booked by um, Taunton Brewhouse. Um, oh, wow. I've done one workshop with them before. Yeah. And um, this one on Saturday is, is coming up. So, so the first one I, I did, um, I think I did the very small trinket 
the, the square one. Then, yeah. The, it was actually the triangular one. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then um, this Lovely. time we're going to be making um, this kind of baubly necklace on a silver chain. Oh, sort of toggle. Oh, I like it. It is. It's lovely. That's stunning. Um, oh, so that's I love a kind of I love a long necklace. Time they can make a pair of earrings, or maybe even you know add a, a bracelet in as well, depending on the time. It just I, I'm I'm going to have to do a, a run, a, a dry run on it because <laughs> I I'm never entirely sure. You know, but um, I love that. Well, you know, I'm all, always available to give you a hand with that. You know, well, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, so bless. That's, that's the next one, and then I think the next ones after that are down in Falmouth, and I'm doing very, they're very short. So I think I have two and a half hours um, for a polymer clay workshop, and then the following day I'm doing a paper cut collage workshop so it's um at the same location as well same location two oh days in a brilliant week. well i thought i have a friend who lives there and i thought i'd stay with her yeah and just do them back to back it made life i don't have to travel so far <laughs> so that works out well that's yeah. perfect that's yeah. absolutely perfect so um so basically everybody's just got to go on your website have a look yeah. at your events and they'll know when you're uh, going to be available so if anybody does you know want to get to meet Caroline first of all before the retreat please do sign up for one of her workshops um you won't regret it that's for sure oh, you. you won't regret it I had such fun um okay so just to repeat then the the craft retreat is happening on from the 18th to the 22nd of July it's at a location called Kingham Hill School in Chipping Norton in the Cotswolds, in the North Cotswolds, I believe it is, in the Oxfordshire side, Oxfordshire. I, yeah, I did say that right. Um, <laughs> and I just had a fly. In the Oxfordshire, <laughs> Oxfordshire County. Um, and Caroline's workshop, the link is in the um, chat. I will put it up again so that you can see. There you go. Um, and like I say, for that, oh, the food there is amazing as well. It's really good. And they, um, the, the catering staff will cater to any dietary requests or needs um, without issue. It's, you know, they're so, so, so good. Oh, it's also, um, the location is fairly accessible, friendly. So there's ramps, there's um, paves, uh, paths everywhere you know smooth paved paths is what I'm trying to say um some of the accommodation might have one or two steps but we can you know accommodate a wheelchair user a stick user anybody you know that if there's any accessibility issues I will ask that and you just need to let me know so um Brilliant. so yes the food the accommodation um the tutoring it's all there everything is sorted ready for that bargain price fantastic Absolutely yay fantastic. <laughs> okay well caroline i'm uh i'm going to say thank you so 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 much for joining me tonight i have been so excited to do this with you and as this is our first one i think we've done all right you know got away with it yeah <laughs> <laughs> just don't tell anyone else okay <laughs> so, fabulous and to those of you that have joined in um it's been oh there we go thanks it's great to hear what you've planned such a fabulous opportunity for summer break oh mainline train station from london is fabulous oh well, that's good to know um so yeah so it is easy access as well there is a train station nearby that's a very good point, Facebook user. There is a train station nearby. Um, the There's some local towns where there's some buses and we can arrange to, to pick up locally if required as well. So that's good. So anyway, Caroline, thank you so, so, so much for joining me today. You're um, yeah, hopefully I we'll... Seeing if you're going to do this again with some other artists, um, oh, I will look out and I shall, I shall make comment. <laughs> Brilliant, brilliant. Right, I'm going to just put in the comments www.carolinecaswell.com. Yeah, 
And actually, you go. Although, although it's events, um, it's really under news is my my details of my workshops are under news. I don't know why. News. OK. Yeah. For some reason. Anyway, there we go. It is. So That's navigate good. yourself around the news location. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you ever so much, Caroline. Such a pleasure to be with you. Mwah. Thank you. And thank you to all of you uh, watchers. It's been an absolute pleasure that you've come and joined me as well. I've, uh, whilst I've been excited, I've been nervous, but this is brilliant. So big love. Thank you so much. And 